so a game in 2016, I'm, um, I'm rocking up to the ground. Uh, we're playing Carlton at the MCG. We drive in. Um, it should be a pretty, you know, stock standard experience and drive in and like get stopped at the gate and we're there for like 20 minutes. Usually as, a, as an AFL team, you, you come straight in, they check your passes or whatever and you're straight in. But we're sitting there for 20 minutes and then kind of can see down the front of the bus, I sit towards the back and there's this convoy of cars. It's like all these blacked out windows, all these SUVs, all these black cars. And we're playing Carlton, West Coast Carlton. I'm like, what is going on here? Like, who, who is here? Kudafidis? Kudafidis, he's just brought him in. <laughs> anyway, we find out Vice President of the United States, Joe Biden, is in the house. It's like, how good. Like, if we're going to showcase something, it's a West Coast Carlton game. You're there. Do, do you remember that this was a I West do. Coast game? I'm not going to forget meeting Joe Biden. I was yeah. like, the game, don't really remember. Correct. <laughs> I mean, it was a great game. West Coast get up by Carlton close you game. You smashed him, didn't you? Yeah, no, that no, was close. Oh, they was they close came time, back yeah. late and we end up winning. We won. Look, that's, that's all it needs to be known. <laughs> but you're sitting in the stands with Joe Biden. Have, yep. they, have they literally just gone, okay, is there anyone with American affiliation here that we can just sit up next to the vice president of the United States. Yeah, they tried to find someone that was um, going to be able to sc- describe what AFL was. And um, I-, I still at that point was struggling, I think, <laughs> and still do today. But um, the funny thing about that story is my dad actually knew I was going to meet Vice President Joe Biden before I did. So he calls me up like the morning I find out and he goes, are you meeting Joe Biden? And I was like, uh, that, nothing I know of. I know like the US consul had asked me to get security clearance for someone they were bringing in, but they wouldn't tell us who it was because right. it had to be very hush hush, right? What, uh, what, sorry, what does that involve? Like security clearance? Yeah, oh, it's like they do a background check and all that kind of stuff, you know, and then they have to give them your passport details, whoever it is, right. to make sure you don't have a criminal record, essentially. Okay. Uh, which I feel like if I did, it would probably be public by then. Yeah. Um, I knew but, about the red and yellow cards at soccer. <laughs> yeah. like, yeah. Don't, don't let him slide tackle you, Joe. <laughs> yeah. Uh, my dad found out that morning, and then sure enough, the US consul of Melbourne called me up and said, Hey, we're going to host Joe Biden. Would you be keen to come to the game? So, um, yeah, it was it was a wild experience. Like I, I to this day still think that Joe Biden was not here for footy, or well, he he did open a hospital in his son's name. I will say that that was yes. an amazing thing he did. But um, I think talking to him and his family, see his granddaughters there. Mm-hmm. I think his granddaughters just wanted to see a kangaroo. I'm dead serious. <laughs> like they they wanted to hold a koala and they wanted to see a kangaroo because at that game they were there whole family was there you know take the photos and everything else and then like as soon as the game no offense mate but like oh, as yeah. soon as the game started two two grandchildren off to Hillsville, got to hold the kangaroo <laughs> see you later <laughs> like it was i was like oh where are the grandkids go because they were like somewhat closer to my age you know i was yes. like oh, i'll chat to them they're like yes. oh no they bounced as soon as the game started <laughs> like, they're out here. he's like get, get a kangaroo in here please like, <laughs> this is not interesting watching the afl but joe sat there for the entire game he, he sat down until three quarter time yeah do you you don't have i mean I, i'm assuming you're just not texting joe back and forth he's now president of the united no, states no i i wish i would have his number. I don't even think he could, he probably doesn't even have a phone that works. To Trump had one. Uh, well, Trump's a different person. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was, he was tweeting that. every second, every minute. That dude was mental. But what, um, what do you even talk about with Joe Biden? Like, are you, are you sitting with him the entire game? The entire uh, th- Yeah, for those like, three like quarters. Yeah, like, yeah. and he came up and talked to a lot of the military people over there because he's got a connection there. And, um, but it was, it was quite nerve wracking more than anything because you, you can imagine like the secret service that comes with Joe Biden. Yeah. Like it is a whole, like you talked about the, the whole, 20 cars and everything yeah, else. Underneath like, the whole place was just surrounded by cars. So they, they fly in a plane for him and they fly in a plane for his equipment. Yeah. So you gotta think all those cars and everything else go on this big A380, whatever it is, and wow. they fly that over. So it's not like it, and it all comes with taxpayers' dollars in the US, which is wild to think that that Crazy. just for his grandkids to hold a koala, he spent that much money. But um, <laughs> it was, it was insane. Like it was, it was kind of chaotic in that sense. But, it was almost like nerve wracking because you saw like whenever he was in there, everyone's getting ready for him to walk in. There's like 50 police officers outside, like Victorian police officers. There's like secret service. They're like sitting in the stands, but you're not sure who's secret service. Like there's some people, they're just dressed in normal clothes. So you don't know who actually is secret service. And there's one guy that's like obvious. He's in the full matrix trench coat. Yes. He's got the earpiece. He's <laughs> full on just like yes. he's he's fully like committed to this whole experience and yes. um, he's mr anderson yeah he is he is yes <laughs> yeah. he is and yeah. um it's so funny so he's, he's like the main dog he's the the person and um he's kind of like getting everyone else and like no one else is allowed to stand up and joe biden has to get out of the stands before anyone else can go and like leave the section and it's like this whole organizational thing but I just felt like there was a sniper on me the whole night. Like I just didn't know how to handle. Do you the think situation. there was possibly was? A hundred percent. Yeah. I was like hands, hands do like you know in like certain like airplanes. You know you've got this like the big question mark of like who gets the armrest, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. That was me, but I, I gave it to him. I was like, have as much room as you want, Joe. Just have as much room as you want, buddy. <laughs> just sitting next to Joe, like showing the. I don't even want to touch him. I don't want to move awkwardly around him. Like there's My nothing I want to do. I'm not reaching for a weapon. No. Please do not kill me. It's like it was insane, man, and. Um, 
the whole experience, he was awesome. He's seriously such a legend. And uh, But the whole experience was somewhat nerve wracking. He was kind of a, a very charismatic and funny fella. And um, yeah, there's he didn't really understand what's going on. I just told him it's, it's kind of like a game where there's no real rules. You just try to tackle each other and then eventually someone tries to kick it through some sticks at the side of the game. <laughs> it's pretty much. Like, yeah, that's, that's, that's really it. Like, I mean, for someone who's never heard of it, I was like, just enjoy someone getting their head taken off and not getting like a penalty for it. Yeah, great. Love it.